in the vast, sun-drenched plains of Africa, where the golden grasses sway like a restless sea under the unrelenting sun, the zebra moves with a presence both majestic and enigmatic. Its body, painted in intricate black and white stripes, appears almost as a living optical illusion, a design that seems both deliberate and otherworldly. Each stripe is a line of identity, a fingerprint of survival and heritage that communicates silently to the world around it. From a distance, a herd might seem like a moving tapestry of alternating light and shadow. But up close, the individuality of each zebra becomes strikingly evident. No two patterns are identical, as if the Earth itself had decided to grant every creature its own secret signature, a visual language written in the stark contrast of pigment and skin. Zebras are creatures of community, social beings whose lives are interwoven with the lives of others in ways that speak to both instinct and intelligence. Within a herd, hierarchies form naturally, with dominant stallions guiding, guarding, and at times negotiating the safety of their mares. The mares themselves carry the wisdom of generations, navigating the herd through familiar grazing grounds, guiding younger members, and discerning subtle signs of approaching danger. The interplay of dominance and cooperation within these groups reflects a sophisticated social intelligence rarely credited to prey animals. Each interaction, whether a gentle nuzzle, a flick of an ear, or the careful positioning of a body between a predator and a vulnerable young one, communicates volumes. There is an unspoken etiquette of survival here, a choreography developed over millennia, honed by the perpetual dialogue between life and threat. The stripes that define a zebra are more than decorative. They are a symphony of evolutionary design, playing roles in protection, thermoregulation, and communication. When the herd moves as one, the stripes blend and shift in a way that can confuse predators, making it difficult for lions or hyenas to single out one individual. Yet the function of these stripes extends beyond predator evasion. Researchers have observed that the contrasting bands may also help regulate body temperature, with the dark stripes absorbing heat and the lighter ones reflecting it creating subtle air currents along the animal's back. Additionally, the stripes are thought to deter biting flies and other insects, a constant annoyance on the African plains, proving that beauty and utility are often inseparable in the natural world. The birth of a zebra calf introduces both vulnerability and hope to the herd. Newborns, initially marked with brownish stripes that darken over the first weeks of life, take their first steps with unsteady legs. Their arrival prompts a flurry of protective behavior as mothers and surrounding herd members form a vigilant circle, warding off predators and offering guidance. Observing a calf's first moments is witnessing resilience in its purest form. Fragile, yet instinctively aware, moving under the careful watch of those who understand the perilous world into which it has been born. Every flick of the tail, every anxious glance, Every protective shuffle of hooves around the calf reflects an intricate network of social bonds, survival instincts, and mutual care that ensures the continuation of life despite the harsh realities of the savanna. Water shapes the lives of zebras, dictating the rhythm of their movement and the timing of their migrations. Herds embark on vast journeys, sometimes spanning hundreds of kilometers, in search of rivers and seasonal waterholes. These migrations are not random, they are guided by memory, instinct, and subtle environmental cues, with older individuals leading the way and younger ones learning through observation. The arrival at a water source is a ceremony of shared relief, a moment of simultaneous vigilance and relaxation. While drinking, the herd remains alert, ears flicking, tails twitching, eyes scanning for signs of lurking predators. Even the slightest disturbance, a rustle in the grass, a shadow that moves against the flow of light can provoke an orchestrated response, a fluid ballet of flight and positioning that is both mesmerizing and critical for survival. Life on the plains is defined as much by subtlety as by spectacle. The interactions among zebras reveal an intelligence and emotional complexity often overlooked by casual observers. Grooming is a central aspect of their social structure with individuals nibbling gently at each other's coats to remove parasites and reinforce bonds. Such actions are acts of both hygiene and communication, reinforcing trust and hierarchy within the herd. In moments of rest, zebras remain semi-alert, 
one eye open to scan for danger, their bodies poised to spring into action. Sleep is brief and shallow, yet restorative enough to maintain their physical endurance for the unrelenting demands of grazing, migration, and predator evasion. Even in these quiet moments, there is a rhythm, a pulse of life and vigilance that pervades every action. Predators are a constant presence in the zebra's world, shaping behavior and movement in ways that are deeply instinctive yet subtly strategic. Lions, in particular, pose a persistent threat, employing patience, stealth, and strength to capture their prey. The zebra's defense is equally sophisticated. Herds form protective formations, with vigilant individuals at the edges scanning for threats, hooves poised for explosive sprints that can reach nearly 70 kilometers per hour. The chase, when it comes, is a dialogue of motion and strategy, each participant aware of the stakes, the environment, and the innate capabilities of its body. Survival is measured in split-second decisions and coordinated movement, a testament to the evolutionary pressures that have sculpted both predator and prey. The ecosystem in which zebras exist is a complex web of interdependencies. They share the grasslands with wildebeests, antelopes, elephants, and countless smaller creatures, each species influencing the behavior and movement of the others. Zebras' keen awareness often benefits other animals. Their vigilance can alert neighbors to approaching danger, creating a dynamic network of shared survival. Grazing itself has ecological consequences. Zebra's selective feeding helps maintain the balance of plant species, influences soil composition through trampling, and indirectly shapes the habitats of numerous smaller animals. Their presence is both a product and a shaper of the environment, a living testament to the interconnectedness of life. The plains are alive with sensory richness that zebras experience in ways humans can scarcely imagine. The heat radiating from sun-baked earth, the scent of distant rain, the whisper of wind through the grass, and the constant drone of insects form a backdrop to their existence. Zebras navigate this sensory world with acute perception, ears pivoting towards sounds inaudible to human ears, nostrils flaring to detect subtle chemical signals, eyes attuned to shifts in light and motion. The dance of survival is as much a matter of perception as of speed, requiring a continuous integration of sight, sound, smell, and instinct to negotiate the dangers and opportunities of each day. Zebra lifespan varies greatly depending on whether they live in the wild or under protected care. In their natural habitat, zebras typically survive 15 to 20 years, and this average reflects the constant threats they face from predators, drought, and competition for food. From birth, a zebra must adapt quickly. Foals are running within minutes, not because nature makes them gifted, but because survival demands it. This early pressure affects their long-term health and shapes the overall lifespan of the entire population. Life in the wild is a non-stop cycle of movement, vigilance, and endurance. And this harsh environment naturally shortens the life expectancy of many individuals. In captivity or wildlife reserves with stable protection, zebras can live much longer, often reaching 25 to 30 years, and occasionally beyond that. The difference shows how much environmental stress influences aging. In protected settings, zebras have steady access to clean water, high-quality forage, and medical attention. They no longer face predators or long migrations to survive drought seasons. By removing these external dangers, their bodies age more slowly, injuries heal more completely, and overall health remains strong for more years than in the wild. Predation remains one of the strongest forces shaping zebra lifespan in nature. Lions, hyenas, leopards, and wild dogs frequently target young, old, or injured zebras. Because zebras must constantly stay alert, their bodies operate under sustained stress, which eventually wears them down. 
Foals face the highest mortality, with many not surviving their first year, and this significantly lowers the average lifespan for the species. Even healthy adults must continually outrun predators or remain in tightly organized groups, and this constant vigilance has a lasting effect on how long they live. Environmental factors such as drought and climate instability also influence zebra longevity. Zebras rely on large grazing areas, and when water becomes scarce, they must migrate long distances to survive. Older or weakened individuals often fail to complete these challenging journeys. Repeated exposure to low nutrition, harsh heat, and long migrations slowly degrades their physical condition over time. This pattern shows how environmental pressure, not just predation, plays a major role in limiting how long wild zebras can survive. As zebras age, their ability to maintain speed, strength, and social status determines whether they can continue living within the group safely. Injuries, worn hooves, weakening teeth, or reduced mobility make older zebras more vulnerable to predators. In protected environments, these problems can be treated, extending the zebra's natural lifespan. But in the wild, age-related decline almost always results in reduced safety and fewer survival chances. This is why the lifespan difference between wild and captive zebras is so large. Aging itself becomes a serious threat when the environment is unforgiving.